God bless each one of you. Let's start with a prayer. Father God, I present to you everyone who is watching this. I also present to you everyone around the world, Lord Jesus, that may everyone know about your grace and your mercy, Lord God. Everyone who is watching this right now, Lord God, that may you bless them with this video. Also warn to all the churches and everyone around the world, also the lost lives that don't know you, Lord God, that may they know about your love and your mercy and your grace. And now you are coming back soon and you're preparing each and one of us. Also spreading your word, Lord God, that may this word reach to many people so that they could be warned about your warnings, but also be more ready and prepared in you and be more spiritually growth in you, Lord God. For all the glory goes to you forever and forever. In your holy name, amen. In your holy name, Lord Jesus, glory to your name. So, brothers and sisters, a couple days ago, I had a dream, and the Holy Spirit told me to tell each one of you. So, the dream started off that I was in a real dark place. It was pitch black, and it looked like someone took the darkness out like a box. I looked like now I was in one of those normal brown packaging box, just a normal box. And then I was in this desert. But it, it felt more real than how I'm talking to you right now. Like, I was alive, but I was in the spirit when I was in the dream. And I started walking in the desert. On my right side, there was an electric pole. And it was flashing electric. And on the other side, there was electric poles doing the same thing. And while I was walking on the desert, um, three boys come out of nowhere. One boy that has his leg broken. Another boy who's helping the bre the his, his brother with the leg broken. And there's an, a young boy who's running around like real active, like, you know, like a baby, like a toddler. But like, he's like, he looks like he was around like five or six. And the other two ones, they looked at like around 11 and 12. And they all ran to a well. They grabbed the bucket. And inside the bucket was a droplet of water. Just one drop of water. Like a droplet of water. Just one droplet. When they dropped, they when they had the bucket, they put it on the floor. Mind you, the floor had like a lot of cracks. And when the droplet hit the crack, out of nowhere, a tree sprung. And the tree sprung, like it grew. Like it fully grown right there, right then. And it looked so real, okay? There's three fruits, and it was mango, oranges, and apples. And they were all on the side of the trees. Okay? And out of nowhere, right? The boy who had his leg broken ate the mango. The boy who helped the boy with his leg hurting, mind you, they were all brothers, um, grabbed the orange. And the little boy had... The apple. After they ate, the little boy who had his leg broken was healed. The The young boy stopped at acting real active. Like, it was more mature. While I was walking on the desert road, um, they come into the middle of the road. And, you know, I, I kept walking. Then they ran where I was at. They stopped me. The boy with the leg broken before, he said to me, stay focused. The boy who helped the boy with the leg broken said, keep going. And the young boy said, keep having faith. When they ran to like the left side of the, of the path, they looked like they were walking up steps and they disappeared. I look up and there was two angels on both sides. The three boys were in the middle and they were and they were carrying them up into this to this place that had a bunch of clouds there. And the opening was like a square ish in a circle. And when they entered, it disappeared. And then there's a big star. Mind you, it was daytime. There's a bright star and then it it, it closed. Then out of nowhere. It looked like where when I was walking, a box also like closed up where I was at. Like if you were to put a box where a bunch of books, like the books disappeared. Like 
it was something like that. Like if a box was to be put under her. And now I was in a dark place. But there was a little bit of light so I could see where I was lost this time. What happened was, I was, you know, like in those New York substations. Well, the thing was, this place looked in a little, like, um, it looked a, a little different. And it was really, really, real dark. And I could see a demon from the shadow, like, and you can hear footsteps. Dump, dump, like, it was real heavy. And I look over here. There's a mirror. And I don't know if you know, but there's a picture here. And it's a picture, Prince of Peace by this painter. And I look at the mirror. In that same picture, right? I, I, I go like this. I go like that, you know? And out of nowhere, the, the picture went like this. Like that. Just started moving. And then I could see the lips moving saying, stay focused. Stay focused on my word. I am with you. The demon was in front of me. I didn't even notice. The, the best way I could describe to you was like the cartoon movie um, Shrek. Um, the ogre. That's the best description I could give it to you. The demon had these big legs. These big legs. Like these big legs. Okay. Um, it was so huge. It, like a modern house. The roof of it. Put a little bit more taller. That's how big it was. It was so green. That the green made you want to vomit. Like that's the best description I can give you. The ears were so oval. Um, the forehead was so, like, um, squarish in a way. And the ears were like that. Um, like oval. And the green reminded me of a crocodile. Also, like, um, like how the slime is. The toy slime. Um, that's what a flesh represents, like, look, like, reminded me of. It was so fat. Like, it was naked, but, like, it was fat, Okay. And he said in a very deep voice, where is your God now? And I said, the God of all and the God of authority is here. Oh, mind you, when he said, where's your God now? He said, he, he, he had like a big grin like, and then he was like, like serious now. And when I looked at him and then um, I for, he, he said something along the lines that that no one could take you from my hand, something like that. And I said, the God of authority is here. I rebuke you in the name of God, in the name of Jesus. Out of nowhere, there's this angel that came out of nowhere. If... Like, if you were to look up, an airplane was to go through, and, like, you look up, and it, it flies that way. That's the best description of how it happened. Like, the angel came flying like that, and it sliced through the demon, for some reason, in two halves. The two halves of the demon disappeared. How the angel landed was, he had, like, the whole time he had his eyes closed. I noticed that. And then when he landed, he had his head down with his eyes closed still. Mind you, I was behind him, but, like, there's, like, these, cam not these cameras, but these angles I could see where, he, like, how he landed and how everything was going on. Um, this angel had black hair. It was real muscular. It was huge. Um, it had some of the biggest wings. Um, like, I could say... It was just these pretty big size wings. It reminded me a lot of a bird. Um, and how it landed was um, like one knee was to the ground and the other with his foot landed. And then it disappeared right there and then. I went where he was landed and I could still see the footprints. The reason why I say this is there was this water that was moving on the floor. And the sidewalks were like this big. My and like I was 
and the sidewalks were pretty small because, like, they were just, like, an inch from the ground, so they weren't really sidewalks, but they were sidewalks. And just everywhere where the water went, it would destroy any, like, little, um, because there was a lot of sand under the water. And everywhere stuff was, the water would wash it away quickly. But with the angel's footsteps, it didn't. I was in a place now. Um, the same thing. It was like another box transportation thing. And it looked like I was in New, in New York. Okay? I was walking. I was walking the straight, um, the straight path. I was walking straight the whole time. And while I was walking, it was months of process of building. I'll get more into it while I, while I talk about it. But what happened was there was a group of rich people and then a group of poor people. In the middle, there would be a, a big gate. The rich people would be over here and the poor people would be over here. The poor people would kill each other just to live off. And the rich people over here had these big business businesses. And um, there was these bad restaurants that um, I'll put a video in the description. It's about how that these places have sacrifices, human sacrifices. And they put witchcraft over it. So like that it's like normal food. But, truthfully, these restaurants are very satanic. And when you eat the food, um, it does stuff to your body. Not only health-wise, but spiritual-wise. And this food is very witchcraft. Like, they put a lot of um, witchcraft over this. The restaurants that were there was McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Taco Bell. There's many places, okay? Um, for some reason, Chili's was also there. And Popeye's was recently um, presented. How these places had a pack with the enemy. And they just... They just, like, literally made a pack with the enemy. The owners of the places I'm talking about. Either the old owners or and then the new owners carried it on or the new owners made a pack for their, for their businesses to get high and famous. And the three temptations, when Jesus did the 40-day fast, um, the devil came to him with three times. The first one was about hunger. The, the second one was about you know, testing the Lord our God. And then the third one was literally about power and, you know, worshiping the enemy just to have, you know, this worthless, um, the worthless things of the world. And Jesus passed through all this. But the thing is, there's going to be a time soon that they're going to be making this city. Okay, let me keep on going. In the city, they made the buildings even larger and larger. They put a lot of LED lights. Now, right now, a lot of people know that LED lights ain't bad, but the LED lights were made for bad purposes. One, for style. Second, to blind people. Mind you, this is just regular lights. Well, to people, they think they're regular lights, but the LED lights... Are now used for bad purposes. And while I was walking. There was months of processing. Of how. Different buildings were. Being made. It looked like New York. And. Everything was. was Three things. Three big things. Are going to be. Literally after Christ comes. After Christ comes. The world is going to be all about. Riches, sexual immorality, and power. These three big things will be the big things of the main things of the world. After Christ comes. Now, we already know that that's big already. We know that the world has still falls of these three big temptations and sins. But they this will be the main focus in life after Christ comes. 
Christ have mercy on all of us. Brothers and sisters, while I was walking forward, while I was walking, okay, they were still building it right in front of me, but none of them could see me. It was like time was passing quick. And we know Christ is coming soon. All of a sudden, they had everything built. Then there was these cars, and then there was these bridges. The bridges had magnets on them. And there was a car under it that had magnets. There would be two different types of cars that they would make in the future. One that would have a magnetic force. One that was magnetic that will connect to that magnetic bridge. Another car that will have like fans with a circle under them. And it will fly over a bridge that has the LED lights lining up. Um, then I kept walking. And then out of nowhere there was this beast. And it had the same description. Just like in the Bible. The beast looked like a leopard. The feet looked just like a bear. The mouth looked like a lion. And the wings literally looked like an eagle. The beast was so horrific just looking at it. Not that I was scared looking at it. But I knew that people were. Because the people were worshiping it. Worshiping it and it says in the Bible that. The first commandment literally says. Worship no other God but me. Love me before all other things. And brothers and sisters. The enemy is really deceiving people. About religion. About about God being carved, about God being on a picture. Brothers and sisters, God cannot be carved. God is not a picture. God is not a statue. God is a being. And since we have sin, right? Because of sin, it divides. It's like a barrier between us from God. Not that it's a barrier, but like it. Divides us from God. And the only way we could get back to him is by repentance. And coming humbly to him. And just this was really horrific just looking at this. They were worshipping literally the beast. The next thing was just crazy. Out of nowhere they just started killing each other. Sacrificing the other person to the beast. Like if it was a contest. It reminded me of like. Of like um, Sodom and Gomorrah. How wicked it was. They would just kill each other for fun. Or for idols and all that. Except this was literally like. Not war but like. They were literally killing each other. Like it was so graphic. They were killing each other. And then they gave the, the dead body to the idol. Out of nowhere I was in this place. Um, it looked like clouds. It looked like a house. Made out of clouds. From the far back, I could see a wooden, dark brown door. Jesus was in front of me. The description of Jesus was that he had a white tunic. And he had a garment that was even whiter. He had these sandals that were dark brown. His eyes were blue. And when you, looked in, when you just looked at him, you could see amazing love. But you could also see power and authority. Just by looking at him. He didn't say anything to me like in the first couple of seconds I saw him. Um, he had hair. It was dark brown. Um, the best way I could put it was his hair was like wavy. Um, his hair was a little bit above his shoulders. But the hair was wavy down. It's on the top will be a little up and then down. Um... I don't know where he said, peace be with you. I looked at him and I said, why have you abandoned me? Like, where were you? And Jesus said, I have never abandoned you. And then the whole dream repeated itself, but it was like quick this time. And I could see Jesus walking with me throughout the whole dream. Just outlined it, like of the body. Jesus gave me understanding of the dream. Look what he said. He said, at the beginning of the dream, you saw you were in a dark place. And then there were these people 
there was this one person with two big hands that took out the dark. It, it looked like a box, and then I was inside a box. Then the box took off, and then I was in a desert. He said that these are stages that all the countries are going to take place. All countries, okay? Then he said... Um, after he said that... He said the three boys... The three boys are three messengers. That again. And the three boys were messengers by God to bring the word to the world about how these events are going to take place. Them about the three fruits about God's word. And then them eating the three fruits and then telling other people, well, me, well, Jesus said how that I represented the world. Not that I represent the world, but inside the dream that like one interceded for the whole world. If that makes sense. And what happened was they then about the dark place about the that big demon and all that is that God's people and then the unbelievers, the lost sheep, both are going to be in a lot of problems. And the part that I was in the dark place in the demon present itself, and Jesus says, stay focused on my word. That part meant that a lot of, a lot of believers of God and a lot of unbelievers, people who don't serve the Lord, that we're all going to be having a lot of problems and that us that how I rebuked the demon in in God's name and how I had victory over that that it meant that the people who serve the who serves the Lord humbly from heart and keep seeking the Lord and stay focused on his word that we're gonna have victory the, through the problems through this year, two thousand twenty two. And how the unbelievers that the the dream messengers they're spreading the word o over the whole world to unbelievers and believers, but even believers inside the church don't even follow the warnings of the Lord, brothers and sisters. The city represent an event that's gonna take place after Christ comes, though. And that there's going to be a beast that they're going to worship. It's going to be a statue. Brothers and sisters, the dream ended just like that. And right now, I just want to tell you, Christ is coming very soon. And us as believers, we need to be prepared and ready. We also need to be telling others about Christ. No matter where you're at, tell others how Christ loves them and how he's coming back. To pick up his people. And how they could participate in this great event. That's going to take place in eternal life. With our Heavenly Father. And look. I'm going to read a verse. That's going to finish off this video. In the name of God Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look I am coming soon. I bring my rewards with me. I will reward each person for what they have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the first and the last. I am the beginning and the end. Verse 14 is for all be believers and unbelievers who want to accept Christ as the Lord and Savior. Look at this. Blessed are those who wash their robes. They will have the right to come into the tree of life. They will be allowed to go through the gates into the city. And then verse 15 Finishes off saying, outside the city are those who are impure. These people include those who practice witchcraft. Outside are also those who commit se sexual sins and murder. Outside are those who worship statues of gods. And outside is everyone who loves and does what is false. Verse 16 really finishes the video because it says this. 
I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this witness for the churches. I am the root and the son of David. I am the bright and morning star. Brothers and sisters, let's finish this with a prayer. Amen. Father God, I present to you everyone around the world. I present to you everyone who watched who watched through this video. That may this video have been a blessing to their life. Also, that may they carry your warnings, Lord. And Lord God, we thank you for you keep warning each and one of us how you keep teaching us more about your word. We also thank you for your mercy and grace and for this other day that you have given us, Lord God. Lord God, keep teaching us and keep guiding us, Lord God. Keep leading our lives, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for that for all that you have done. Thank you for sending your son to the world to die on the cross for all of our sins. And for him making a way for each and one of us, even though that we did not deserve it. But your love is so amazing and great. How much you love each and one of us. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Praise be your holy name. And Lord God, that every life that watches it, that may they accept you as your Lord and Savior. That may they know that even though they don't know much of the word, that they can know that they are saved by the blood of the Lamb. In your holy name, amen. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.